Um, if you are Canadian, you're going to be disappointed and you're not going to be impressed with this video. Hello everybody, Fei Cheng Ni Hao and welcome to another video. Today it's very cold so I thought I would talk to you about um, how cold it is in Shanghai and why it is so cold. Um, if you are Canadian you're going to be disappointed and you're not going to be impressed with this video because it's not Canada cold. But it is definitely very cold because it's not a dry type of cold, a very it's very humid so it feels a lot colder than it is and many people they dress up warmly and it's extra extra cold because it is um, well it's cold outside but also inside houses because people don't have central heating and oftentimes houses are not very well insulated so for example I myself I just have single glazed windows and uh, that's why the cold really comes in and also through the front door like underneath the cold comes in and yeah sometimes my windows sorry sometimes my uh, my curtains just flap at night because of the wind if the wind comes from a certain direction so me and my cats get pretty cold and um, you have seen that I have two heaters at home and I often have both of them on nowadays because it is getting colder it was minus five this week and it doesn't sound too cold but yeah it just felt it a lot most people wear gloves and scarves now today isn't that bad so I don't really need this but um, God yes you can tell people are getting sick all over the place left and right my students are sick and it's all bad timing because um, it's exam week now so yeah anyway I do I'm, I'm very happy with my two heaters and I get by I have hot water bottles in my bed and when I have the heating off then my cats they just crawl into my bed and uh, then they, they make sure that they keep warm so I'm sure that my cats will survive also during the national holiday that is coming up and I'll leave them for a while um, they can take care of themselves so that is really good but yes it's just definitely a lot colder than in the Netherlands I mean literally I mean it's not minus 5 in the Netherlands now it just feels colder than minus 5 back home does anyway if you are wondering where I am I'm standing in Da Shuolu which is literally the university street as it is close to um, Fudan University not too far from where I live either and I am here to distribute a magazine that I started with a colleague actually it was his idea and uh, so this magazine is a free magazine that we created and we will, uh, we will all now distribute them and um, you know leave them at places where young people um, can get at them can get them so we're distributing these this weekend so for people to read and to take home their free magazines and we created about a hundred maybe a couple more than that so no big deal but it's kind of my hobby now writing articles for the zine and so I just wanted to tell you about it yeah for example I made this uh, I made this wonderful maze. You can see Lenny the Lawai. You have to get him to his compliments. Your Chinese is so good. And not to the fake alcohol or the broken Mobike. And, and I also wrote a horoscope. And um, yeah, my colleague is the editor. He calls himself very stable genius. So it's all like a fun, fun magazine, kind of sarcastic, full of random articles. And seven people have contributed so far. And uh, so that's what I've been doing when I haven't been doing Toastmasters or when I haven't been working. I've been working on the zine. So yeah, I keep myself off the streets most of the time. Um, and uh, anyway, it is pretty cold so I'm gonna start walking and I'll just show you a little bit of Da Shu Alu. And um, yeah, the sun was shining earlier but it's a bit grey now. I guess it's a little bit polluty. Not too many people are wearing masks, so I'm not wearing one either. But I did notice that my app on my Chinese phone gives you a very different index number about the pollution than my Dutch app does, so that's interesting to say the least. Anyway, not too polluted today. Um, so yeah, let's go for a walk.
so to be honest today is not that cold it is about two degrees so it's above zero but still yeah I don't know it, it feels like it's a freezing <laughs> it's, it's better with the Sun so um, because the Sun is out many people are out and walking around many people go shopping on uh, on weekends the malls are often very crowded so I tend to avoid those but it's very nice here I really enjoy this street because the street has lots of like funky bars lots of new places there are, um, places that university students go we've got some cool bubble tea places and some cool cafes uh, good places for coffee but also some very interesting little shops and today I stumbled upon a little market so I guess that on weekends they uh, they have a market here as well and um, not just students go I see um, I see families with children so yeah it's a very lively area I really I'm really happy to live close to the university because it feels like there's lots of different types of people around and always stuff to do um, even if I don't want to go all the way to the city center <laughs> so anyway, I'm doing fine and Chinese New Year is coming up as our finals, finals first. Next week my students have their final exam. They're all studying really hard for those. And then I have to do lots of correction I'll work. But after that, I'm gonna go um, on professional development abroad to the US. And I'm also gonna go to Thailand and meet an awesome friend there. So um, I'm gonna be very busy. Maybe I'll do a vlog over there, who knows. It's my best um, to eat lots of vitamins now and stay warm. Next week should be a lot better to be honest. So temperatures do fluctuate a lot here. Like it goes from 10 degrees to minus four degrees in just two days. It was like that in summer too. Like it's a bit unpredictable sometimes. And that's why people get sick, I guess, because they're not prepared for it. And uh, yeah, most of my students are now really uh, sniffling, my colleagues too, and we're trying to hang on until the holiday starts. So anyway, this was a cold week, but next week shouldn't be so bad. And until then, I'll stay warm with my cats. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to do some food videos soon, maybe some more traveling and maybe another school themed video. Hope you enjoyed this and uh, give me a thumbs up. See you again next time. Sai Jian.